and we are here in a Sapphire's room in a Nangang building. And what we're seeing here is a, a whole slew of motherboard and uh, display products. Okay, so what we have here is their Toxic HD 5970. Of course, it has dual uh, GPU inside, and we've been told that this thing runs on 600 watts power. You see, it's really huge. Okay, just a comparison with uh, my hand here. All right, it has four gigs of memory. All right, and it has a 900 megahertz core and a 1200 megahertz uh, speed rating for memory. So you multiply that by four, so it has a 4.8 gigahertz effective speed uh, speed rating. Okay, well, other tech specs: it has uh, 160 texture units, and the cooler is actually from uh, Arctic Cooling. It's also I Ifinity ready and uh, also use ATI Stream. There you have it, and uh, it's also possible to do a quad crossfire here with a single bridge link if it fits your <laughs> your rig. Okay. All right, and what we have on top is uh, their Vapor X 5750. Okay, we've been told that the Vapor X is actually the uh, Sapphire innovation in that uh, this heatsink has a chamber inside that has uh, that's vacuum sealed and uh, has a few drops of water. There's a few drops of water. Inside this, uh, you've got a few drops of water. Yes, inside the wave chamber, there's water, the liquid. Alright, and then uh, the the concept here is that uh, when 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 your when when the GPU heats up the the, the heat sink, okay, uh, the water turns to vapor, and the heat is transferred up down to the fins and cooled by the fan, right? And the water turns uh, condenses again, and the cycle repeats. And Sapphire says this is an effective cooling system for them. There we go, this is a Toxic 5850, which also uses Vapor X, by the way. Okay, for, um, for a more silent solution, they've got a new product here. They say it's a 5650. Okay, and a 5550. As you can see, there's um, it's all passive cooling. There's no fan involved. Great for HTPCs. Provided fits, yes. And over here, we have their power supply. Okay, uh, Sapphire says that this is an actually an 850 watt power supply. That is. And that has an extra 100 watts okay. capacity, so it's marketed as a 950 watt POC. You can't really find something like this around the market. Uh, Sapphire makes um, power supplies no less than 650 watts. So as you can see, there's uh, up to a 1250 watt version. All right, and there you have it. A bunch of kick-ass ATI graphics cards.